That's a nice old scrubber. What's that one, Bob? There. Peggy McGarren. There's my Peggy. That's your... She's a bit scout at the moment. Yeah. <laughs> The 1996 Nance National Order. How many birds was there, Bob? 10,123 pigeons in the race. I think there's 1,500 some odd uh, lots. Right, well, fancy, so. yeah. Yeah. So she did well. She did well within the car, very, too, didn't very she? Very well, yeah. very remarkable. You want a brand new boat, a car? Yep. Yeah. Bob, don't send her back next year. No, I don't intend to. She's out her perch, oh. mate. Green she's going to stay when we were father. That old pigeon, mate. She's number one pigeon in Great Britain in 1996, mate. Yeah. We've come down the other end of Exeter now to visit Bob's good friend, Don Taylor. Don's won the West of England Continental Amalgamation a fantastic 20 times on the long distance. And this is his Lofton pigeons. Yeah, he races a few pigeons. Incredible fancier. Keith, that's that really cotton wood I typed in terms of this year. Yeah. What fam's he done? Savage Bark and Open again. Yeah. I'll tell you what, they're well up in the month this time of year. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, I do believe in feeding them this time of year. How far is Spurs though? 547. Well, last year it went to Bamps. Um, won that for me. 477 miles. Is your natural cotton? Natural. All natural, yes. Credit to you, mate. Yeah. Beautiful pigeon, beautiful. Right, Don, what do you think about old Bob winning the national this year from Nance? Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah, good I'm performance. Give a little, little bit of advice off and uh, how, to, how to do it, because yeah. I'm going to have a go myself next year. Oh, yeah? Yes. Yeah. Uh, he does it, too. He yeah. deserves it. You fancy Poe, do you, Don? Oh, yeah, Paul made me. Yeah. yeah. How far did you fly from Poe? 520 something or other, yeah. 27 yeah. perhaps, 527. Yeah. Bloody long way. Yeah. We've come to Dartmoor now. This is Tumley Lofts. They race pigeons, they've got a stud here. Yeah, right. It's really well. Who's at the top of the national like you did, boy? We're all right. Yeah, well, you can come second to me. Two times, eh? Well, like I said before, I'm not waiting till I'm 76. <laughs> this Keith is a combine winner. Um, as you've heard before, he's uh, really done the business. He's uh, topped the combine by many yards and he makes a good end of the business. And not only that, he's breeding them as well. What system was he racing on? He's our race on the Widowhood, yeah. Another Jansen pigeon? Yeah, another Jansen pigeon. Some of the best Jansen blood in here. Yeah. And not only that, as I say, you know, we try to make them come through not just winners, but breeders of winners. Yeah. And uh, not just one generation either. And he's somewhere around about, I can't really quote you, but he's somewhere around about uh, the third generation down from the, from the Ice Iron Cock. Yeah. And just yesterday we heard of a fourth generation down from the Ice Iron Cock winning the combine into Scotland. It's pigeon, yeah. How many pairs you got in the stud then, James? Around about 150 pairs. Yeah, what families? Uh, we got the Jansons, which is the middle distance, Liam Bores, which are the sprints, and the Jan Ardens, which are the long distance. Yeah, so what you just generally sell pigeons throughout the UK, do you? Yes, that's right. We do sell abroad as well. I've sold pigeons in Malta, um, Australia, and uh, Philippines, yeah. and other parts of the world. When do you pair them up? Uh, we pair up Boxing Day, um, nice and early. Uh, not worry too much about the cold because uh, we had the lights on. As long as they get 14 hours of uh, sun, uh, of the light, um, they seem to be all right. Well, this is really really, but we're yeah. pleased to see you. You're always here, right? Come up here, right? Yeah, we're pleased to see you. Yeah. Well, you that national blood, you've been Good morning, Doug. Hello, Keith. Welcome, uh, welcome to the Devon and Cornwall Show Racer Society. This is our first show of the season and we always start off with a young bird show. So all the birds here today are young birds being shown for the first time. Um, we have four shows a year and we hold them here 
here at King Stainton at the WBB Social Club, which is the headquarters of the King Stainton Flying Club. Very lucky because the pens are all erected. It makes uh, our showing very easy. Um, it's a good year for you to come because it's our 25th year of existence and um, we've got about 30 members. 30 members don't show every time of course, uh, normally there's a hardcore of 8, 10 or 12. But uh, we have some excellent shows, and today, for instance, we've got judges from as far away as Glasgow and Cumbria in Jimmy Fitzpatrick and Alan Spedding. That's wonderful. The best known names yeah. in the showing fancy. Yeah. How long have you been Secretary of Society, Doug? Oh, I've either been Secretary or Chairman for just about every one of those 25 years. Yeah. John Rebilliard and myself are the last two founder members of the Society and uh, we've been the ever-presence and between us I suppose we've shared the, the weight of it uh, through the 25 years. One of, one of the best uh, known showmen in the country is John Rebellion, who now is the president of the Royal Pigeon Racing Association. John and I have known each other for a good many years, and in fact uh, we were founder members of this society, John Rebellion. How have you been in the school in John? Well, I started uh, when I just left school in uh, 1948, so I've had a lifetime experience in uh, See, uh, most people in recent years know me more or less as a show fancier, but uh, I did race for a great number of years, and I was secretary of our local club for 21 years, and race was reasonable success, but in recent years my main interest has been uh, on the showing side of things and the uh, administration of the uh, various pigeon clubs and organisations. And this has culminated this year in being elected uh, president of the Royal Pigeon Racing Association, which obviously is a great honour not yeah, only for myself, but uh, also I think for the fancy in Devon and Cornwall. It is in fact actually the first time the RPA RA have been elected a president uh, from a small region, we just won't delegate, so obviously it's, it's a milestone in the history of the RPRA. It is particularly interesting this year because we're coming up not only to the centenary of the RPRA, but also the 25th anniversary of the Blackpool Show of the Year, so obviously it's uh, quite a milestone in the history of uh, the pin fraternity in this country. Yeah. Congratulations, John.